we're going to start a new project and our new project is on figure drawing. Now, I have my wooden mannequin here which very much looks like a person. Now there's no face, no hair, no details, but it looks like a person. And what I want you to notice is that the shapes that the body is. So if you were going to draw a person and we wanted to do a shape for the head, you can see how it looks like an oval. So artists do this. They draw things by drawing the shapes first. Then they add extra detail. So if I went from the oval shaped head and drew a neck down, then I would do the body, which looks like a rectangle. I would do, ooh, let's see, rectangles for arms, maybe an oval for the hand, rectangles for the legs, and maybe kind of an oval shape for the foot. So we're going to be drawing our own figures. We're going to be doing figure drawing in kindergarten today. So you're going to write your name on your paper, and you're going to flip your paper over. Now, we want our paper tall like a tree. That's going to be really important because our figure is going to fill up most of our space. So we're going to start with the shape for our figure's head. But here's the thing. We want to make sure that we get our face on there. So we're going to do the actual face first. So you're going to start and you're going to draw two pupils. So little black circles. Make two little black circles. Now we're going to make the eyes around. They can either be circles or they can be ovals. Now we're going to make a nose. So what we're going to do is a curve line just like that. From there we're going to make a mouth. You can make your mouth kind of however you want. You could do one line or you could choose to do two lines. Yes, you can add teeth and tongue. That's okay to add there. Now we're going to make our shape to go around this. So I am going to use kind of an oval shape. Now we're going to do our neck. From the neck, we're going to create the body. So our body is going to be a rectangle. Now we need to do the arms. They're going to look like rectangles too. So we're going to draw two lines on each side, but we're not going to draw a line at the bottom. Do the other arm. Now we need to do our hands. There are two different ways to do the hand. You can do the hand that looks like the hand. The thumb faces towards the body. So you want your thumb towards the body. Or you can do a round hand and then do lines. So either way, but you want to make both of them match. On mine, they look different, but you want to make yours match. Now we're ready for the legs. So we're going to do a line here and a line there and then a line that kind of looks like a triangle in between. Let's make some feet which kind of look like ovals. Now we can do a line at the bottom and it's going to look like we have shoes on. Let's make this look like we have a shirt. I'm going to make a collar here and you're going to have to do some erasing so that line has to go away. It's going to be a short sleeve shirt. I make the lines there. Now we need to work on this hair because right now we're all bald. I'm going to do a line going to this side and a line going to that side. Right now, it looks like I have hair just on the top of my head, but I have long hair, so I'm going to draw my lines coming down on either side. Don't color your hair in. You can make lines, but don't color it in. Now we need the line for the ground. When we get to the leg, we stop 
and go all the way across. Now it looks like we're standing on the ground and we have our background. Now I get to add some detail. So I want a belt and then we're going to work on our background. You finish drawing the picture of yourself because remember we're doing figures and we're drawing ourselves, our whole entire body. You can see my finished picture here. I have all of my shapes, my ovals, my rectangles, circles, and everything is done. And notice I have details in my background. So I actually got to draw a background. I did a playground and I have an ice cream truck showing up to hang out. I've got a basketball on the ground. The more detail you add, like clouds and birds and other things that you are around, the more interesting your picture actually will look. So details are really important. Don't forget your clothes on yourself. Oh my goodness, that would not be good if you didn't have clothes on. So make sure that you're adding a lot of detail. Like on my ice cream truck, I didn't just draw a truck. I went back and I actually put the items for the ice cream. So the more details we have in our picture, the better it's going to look. After you finish drawing all your details, then you get to color. We're going to color with crayon. And remember, we know how to color the right way. Taking our time, not leaving any of that white, you know, I call it snow all over the place. Your sky, you can do the trick I showed you before where you pinch a naked crayon, the ones without any paper on it, you can pinch it between your fingers and do the rubbing so it will fill it up nice and fast on the sky. You can do that on the sky, but don't do it on anything else because we want you to use all your skills of coloring, not just one or two.